For the next 15 minutes, I'm going to talk about how highly advanced e-learning, including pre-assessments, theory, interactive virtual simulation, post-assessments, and related certifications can be implemented to optimize distance and virtual learning in a way that gets our students as close to proficient as possible using these tools. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do it using current course structure and curriculum in a way that keeps our incredibly valuable instructors and teachers focused on their highest and best use. That is inspiring students toward careers in STEM and advanced manufacturing, encouraging their high flyers and doing everything in their power to provide the extra level of support to those who need it. Far from replacing our valuable educators, the tools we discussed today will help you leverage your gifts to the greatest benefit of your students, given the current environment that we're in. So when it comes to e-learning, let's start with this. It's not your grandfather's e-learning. We are not talking about how we put the old video cassette into the VCR, play a video, and have students take notes. We're not talking about delivering a remote lecture one to many. That's better than nothing, but, in, but there is a way to combine that type of learning and remote instruction with e-learning that delivers incredible results. Today's world-class e-learning is highly advanced with computer-generated graphics on par with Fortnite or 2K20. It's updated in real time, almost like a change made by the textbook author today is made immediately in the textbooks of everyone who already purchased the book. A student can reach it from school, from home, from work, anywhere they have a device and an internet connection. And it's highly interactive. The learner doesn't sit still for more than 20 seconds without having to interact with the content, hovering over a term so a picture that defines it pops up, answering real-time knowledge checks that ensure along the way that the learner grasps the competencies covered. It is full of realistic simulation from simulated ACDC trainers that look almost real to building pneumatics and hydraulic circuits that function in real time, machining centers that crash if programmed to go out the tool path, lockout tagout exercises, completing process control and instrumentation tasks, optimizing production lines using lean manufacturing techniques, programming, programming PLCs and watching the programs manifest themselves on simulated production lines, building relay control st circuits, statistical process control, measurement, gauging, blueprint reading, tolerancing, GD&T, and the list goes on. Every day someone emails our team and says, hey, did you know so-and-so is offering their e-learning for free? Yes, we know. Look at it. It's not this. I know that this looks like advanced manufacturing because advanced manufacturing was what I did for almost a quarter century. So even the most ardent advocates for genuine hands-on learning on authentic industrial technology have to acknowledge that in the absence of student, a student standing in a machining center, a welder, a conveyor, or a mechatronics line, this is as close as one can get without putting hands on equipment. So it's 100% relevant in today's world of advanced manufacturing. And let me just walk you through a short summary of the over 300 courses, the over 3,000 hours of content, including in the e-learning libraries we offer. And this is just a smattering, this is just an overview. Electrical systems, basic AC-DC, alternators, AC motor drives, electronic sensors, and the electronics, tons of PLC content, variable frequency drives, mastering PLC skills, Measurement and gauging, everything from surface plates to height gauges to bore gauges to measurement tools. On the fluid power side, certainly pneumatics, hydraulics, everything from basic and intro level content all the way to advanced troubleshooting. By the way, every one of these bullet points is a four to 14 hour course. Automation and robotics, mechatronics, prints and drawings, blueprint reading, GD&T, computer aided design, manufacturing processes and materials, thermal and process control, industry fundamentals, Machining, machining for Haas and for FANUC, green energy, structural engineering, lean manufacturing, quality, workplace effectiveness, safety, and the list goes on. This is just a handful of the 300 courses, 3,000 hours of content, all delivered in a highly interactive, highly engaging fashion that keeps the learner's attention throughout. So how does it work? Well, let's start with this. You're not alone. ATS Lab Midwest is by far the largest provider of technical education e-learning platforms in the Midwest. We work with high schools all over seven states. We partner with almost every community college in the states of Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, North and South Dakota, Iowa, and Nebraska. We support some of the largest industrial employers in the Midwest, including companies like Sargento, Ashley Furniture, SC Johnson, and Toro, 
on their workforce learning objectives. In fact, in the, on average for the last three years, we have opened up a new ATS Lab Midwest technical education learning lab once a week, every week on average for the last three years. The vast majority of these include e-learning programs with students learning either in the classroom on an e-learning platform or in a flipped classroom outside of the classroom coming to school to do their hands-on skills and to engage with their instructors. World-class e-learning is what we do and we like to think that we do it better than anybody. So I wanna share with you the five steps to implementing world-class e-learning. The five steps that are absolutely fundamental to being successful with e-learning implementation. First of all, we are your resource. So our team is made up of about half of those folks are people that spent time in education, they're former teachers, former educators. The other half of those people worked in technology and manufacturing. And we think we have really, really deep experience in both of those endeavors. So we're your own resource. Right off the bat, we will assign an e-learning resource specifically to you at no charge before you're even a client. This individual becomes a de facto member of your team, familiarizing you with the deep e-learning content we have to offer, and more important, understanding your course structure and your curriculum. Together, we have a high-level discussion about how the 300 different e-learning courses align to your curriculum. Step two is to choose the right model. Choose the model that is right for your school, from individual seat licenses to full site licenses. We have schools and we have customers that will integrate just a handful of seats. And we have customers that purchase site licenses that get, give every single student unlimited access to every single e-learning course, subject only to which courses their instructors choose to assign to them. License periods can run for two months, four months, six months, or 12 months, depending on the objectives of the school. The point of this is there is max flexibility to match any learning objective and any financial budget. So that's step two. Step three is to align the e-learning objectives to course outcomes. This is the most important part. And we say align e-learning objectives to course outcomes in that order and on purpose. Most folks will ask you to do the opposite, to, to look at the e-learning objectives and then change your course outcomes to match them. That's not what we do. Your course outcomes have been studied, they've been implemented, they work for you, they work for your students, they work for your communities. Our job is to determine how we take your course outcomes and align our e-learning objectives to them. We do the work, not you. So let me give you an example. This is right out of the, in this case, Amatrol. We've got 18 different suppliers, but Amatrol is one with which we do a ton of e-learning content. In Amatrol's LMS, there is a section for, just for electrical, course after course after course, just on electrical content. Let's look at electric motor control. We go into the LMS and we click on the learning management system. We click on electric motor control and up comes a group of lessons. Every one of those lessons is about an hour to two hours of content, depending upon the learner. And within those lessons, every single one of them can be expanded again to show what's in it. So this one, electric, Introduction to Electric Motor Control, has four different segments. Within those segments, there are typically four objectives. When we talk about customizing the solution to your course outcomes, we can literally do it down to this level, to the objective level, to the skill level, figuring out how the learning within the e-learning module equates to the course or outcomes in your course syllabus. That's the way that we set up e-learning. And we can do that all the way to setting up an individual custom course for an individual student. So the step three is really important. How do we take the e-learning objectives and align them to your existing course outcomes, not the other way around? Step four is understanding the value of pre and post quizzing and e-assessment. As you can see, every single one of these lessons, which is within every single one of the courses, within every single one of the course topics, has a quiz associated with it. And that there's a pre-quiz and a post-quiz if you choose to use them. So we can quiz a student on that content before they take the content. We can quiz them after they take the content. In most cases, we do both and show what the student has learned through going through that specific content. And then from there, we are able to add what we call e-assessment. E-assessment is a tool that exists prim primarily at the course level, although we can customize that as well. And that will assess an individual learner using a series of about 60 to 80 questions on their specific level of competency related to the specific course. So we'll know up front whether a student has already mastered that content. Perhaps we pass them along. Here's the other thing that Amatrol in particular is doing during the COVID crisis. 
those post quizzes, those e-assessments are a great tool for building assessments into your courses, for assessing your students' performance, for completing final exams at the end of the semester. For all of our e-learning clients, we are offering that service at absolutely no charge, where you can literally quiz your students at the end of a semester using the e-assessment format without having to pay for e-assessment. It's a really, really powerful tool. So step five is training on the learning management system. We get a lot of questions about the learning man management system. Questions like this, and here are the answers. Yes, we can use your learning management system if you want to use yours. So as long as it's SCORM 1.2 compliant, Blackboard, Canvas, you know, whatever your LMS is, we can put the content into your LMS using SCORM so that when your students go into your LMS, it looks like they're in your course. They don't even realize necessarily that they're on somebody else's server. Yes, we can use our LMS as well. So if you don't have an LMS or if it's not up to um, the SCORM 1.2 compliance or for some other reason you'd prefer to use ours, absolutely you can use our LMS free of charge if you're an Amatrol or any other client. Yes, we can assign specific courses and even lessons to your learners. So again, we can take specific courses and assign them to your learners. We can have a specific learner only see the content that you want that learner to see. Yes, we can track usage, pre-quiz, post-quiz, what content the student was gone, has gone through, what date they completed that content, all of that data is relatively available. Yes, of course, we can track quiz scores before or after the quiz is taken. And yes, we can track hands-on skills. So there's, there's even a module in which if you're using this model for hands-on skills, uh, we can track the student's performance on the hands-on skills and work that right into the LMS. And that, that brings up an important, part, important point. As we look to implementing e-learning, we're not just looking to the next two or three months and how we get through the end of the semester. We are looking at how we can utilize it thereafter and tie it to the hands-on skills within the high school, the technical college, the university, the industrial employer, what have you. So we want to look beyond just getting to the end of the year and figure out how we implement a system that will work once our students are back on campus and ready to start learning at school. So launching e-learning in five easy steps, a quick review. Number one, you are your own resource. Number two, I'm sorry, we are your resource. So, so um, we're your own resource. Our team will work directly with your team to implement the e-learning. So don't feel as though you're on an island, feel as though you have a partner that is a member of your team that can support you. Number two, choose the right license model. We have options, as we said, from one learner for two months to hundreds, if not thousands of learners for an entire 12 months. So choose the right license model for you. Align to your course outcomes. So let's take your course outcomes and align the e-learning, not the other way around. Pre and post quizzing and assessment. So that part of it becomes really, really important as we're testing a student's either competence before they take the course or after they take the course. And finally, LMS training. So we will train you backwards and forwards on the learning management system so that you understand that completely and your team understands that completely. So by design, we made this short and quick. We wanted to get through really, really quickly how we can use e-learning at every level of education to implement opportunities for students to learn. You can also email us at customer service at labmidwest.com or also go to our website, labmidwest.com or atsmidwest.com. There are tremendous numbers of opportunities to request more information. That goes right to our marketing department and we'll go directly to an individual that can help answer your question. So I'd like to finish where we started. We must secure the American dream for the next generation of manufacturing talent notwithstanding the current crisis, and really in part because of the current crisis, manufacturing will come roaring back in the United States. The shortage of skilled talent will get worse, not better than it was before COVID. The need for highly skilled advanced manufacturing talent will become more acute. So now, because we can't teach the way that we used to, and we may not be able to for some time, we must find the best way to prepare our students and learners given the new normal that is American technical education. Our team stands ready to assist yours in doing exactly that.